How does a civilization become lost? Is it decimated by wars or does it die off as a result of some deadly plague or cataclysm? What could cause a once thriving group of people like the Mayans, for example, just abandon their great city, never to return? Well, that is what we'll try and find out. Western Honduras, 1839. Explorers John Lloyd Stevens and Frederick Catherwood mount an expedition to investigate reports of mysterious ruins located in this remote, largely uncharted region. After scouting and mapping miles of dark, impenetrable jungle, they find some unusual features in the dense brush. Oddly shaped stones, peculiar carvings, and strange artifacts that could only be man-made. It isn't long before they realize they've made an incredible discovery. The remains of the mysterious ancient Maya civilization deep in the rainforest. The Maya become more mysterious as we collect more information. They have a sophisticated writing system. They obviously have a sophisticated religious system and calendar system. Their total population was estimated to be in the millions and concentrated in large city centers like Copan, Tikal, and Calakmul. And then, suddenly, during the 9th century AD, this advanced society just collapsed. Vast cities, ornate palaces, towering pyramids, all of it completely abandoned, left to be reclaimed by the jungle. They drop their tools and they walk away. They're abandoning those cities, and it's a mystery. If you have a, such a sophisticated civilization, how do these things collapse? For decades, archaeologists have speculated as to what might have caused the sudden demise of the Maya. Dozens of theories, blaming everything from drought to disease to devastating earthquakes, have been proposed. But the estimates now take us up to at least 15 to 20 million. Once we started going out and recording and mapping these sites, we'd see defense warfare structures. This is a remarkable thing that we never knew that these defensive works were out there, leading archaeologists to scratch their heads and basically say, oh my gosh, the Maya were warlike and warfare was very important. More and more, as the classic period went on, monuments became full of war imagery and people taken captives and people being beheaded. So we know war was a factor. According to the Popol Vuh, the written history of the Maya, they believed that time was cyclical in nature. Did the Maya abandon their great cities and disband their culture simply because an ancient prophecy told them when exactly to do it? There were climate problems, there were resource problems, there were people fighting. That's a, a big possibility. As far as they're concerned, something more sinister happened. And they believe the evidence can be found by studying the fate of another ancient civilization, one found much closer to home, the Anasazi. The ancestral Pueblo are a people that grew up in the Four Corners area of the United States. I think one of the things that's the most admirable about the ancestral Pueblo is their ability to live in such a resource-poor environment. Starting in the 9th century, the Anasazi expanded their civilization by building massive structures throughout the Southwest, first in New Mexico's Chaco Canyon, and later in the cliffs of Mesa Verde. There was a big explosion in the kind of architecture they were making and its scale and its sophistication. There were already 
tens of thousands of little communities, but now they started building these gigantic buildings. 